Hello everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. This is episode 14. Last time we went and followed up on the black knife print over north of Leonia. Uh, we kept exploring around this region as well, finding uh, the mausoleum compound. Uh, running around this area like a mad fool, exploring and finding areas that we will revisit later. Uh, and we got our glintstone key guarded by nothing other than a glintstone dragon smarag, which I believe was right here on this beacon that I can now get rid of. Uh, so we are at Rhea Lucaria right now. So we're going to be uh, intending to explore this academy this episode. Uh, before we do jump right into Rhea Lucaria, I am going to check out some surrounding areas of the place. So I'm also going to check out the Temple Quarter um, and potentially up around this way with the with the Minor Erd Tree uh, as well. So without further ado... Let's get into today's episode of Elden Ring. I'm super excited that we're sort of pushing into this this region because Rhea Lucaria is a location that has a lot, a lot of stuff surrounding it. And we've had a lot of NPCs talking about it. Uh, so I'm very excited. And uh, as far as we're aware, Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. Let me just let me make sure my notes are handy and on the side right here. We got Renala. Queen of the Full Moon, um, who's the head of Rhea Lucaria, who holds the Cradling Egg. The Cradling Egg for us to obtain, which has the, the power of the Great Rune. The power of the Great Rune. So magical. So mythical. Um, so gorgeous. So, while we're here in the fallen ruins of the lake, um, we've quite carefully gone over around this way I still do get tempted to just go all right I'm just gonna start again and <laughs> and push in um, you know what I'm gonna give it one I'm gonna give it one more pass through you know what you know why because I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling explorative once again uh, we're just gonna we'll just another pass through why not another pass through? Um, at these Laskiar ruins, um, trying to remember what we what we even found here. Um, there's a teleporty thing here, and then there was this. We were given a direction to go west of the Laskiar ruins. Ooh! Oh no! Damn it! <laughs> I saw that uh, stood still just in the background there, and I thought it was another one of those uh, statues that would point us to a dungeon. Never mind. Exploring Leonia at night. Oh yeah, these dudes are just gonna... We're just gonna ignore them. We're just gonna ignore them as we explore Laskia Ruins, just to see if there's anything else in here. We did already go down the... Uh, we did already go down here. So we've already looted the ruins. That's right, there was ruins there that we looted. Uh, there's the teleporter, and the teleporter took us right to the south gate, I'm pretty sure. I think it took us right to the south gate. Um, teleporter's in there. Yeah, I don't think there's... Just always making sure, I don't think there's anything else around here for us to... For us to see. This will take us directly to Rhea Lucaria, but we will... We will push ahead, we'll push forward. I'm just checking to see if there's anything around here that stands out. Because it is quite an open space. Bunch of red-eyed demi-humans. Glass shard. Red-eyed demi-humans is not a good sign, is it? I believe this might be our way up to... Uh, some more fire monks. 
Um, let me... If I got my torch equipped? I do have my torch equipped. Ah, have I been in here? Yes, this is the lakeside crystal cave. I've been in here. Now we're retreading old ground. Because I'm pretty sure... Have we been up this side before? Yeah, because we've run up here and we've gone to the Everj, we've completed it. So we've done this section. That's our lovely cliff that we have not been able to ascend yet. Look at that beautiful, beautiful tree at night, lighting up the entire world. Ooh, we have a grace point up here that we haven't found yet. There you go. Something new. Grace point, which we haven't yet found. Ooh, and a fireplace. Holy fuck, it's patches! <laughs> You're out of your fucking cave! Oh, well. It, it's been a long while. It's me. Patches the Untethered. Uh-huh. I'm still in business, if you can believe it. Now I'm my only supplier, so I haven't got much. But everything here is top notch. Patches Emporium, now open in Rea Lucaria. <laughs> He's moved. Speaking of and talk. Speaking of Rea Lucaria, interesting. God, okay. I was in, exp in an explorative mood, and we've been rewarded. By the way, uh, have you met that girl, Raya? She's a strange one. Okay. But I believe she was in need of help. Not that it's any of my business, but if she rings your bell, why not lend her an ear? Interesting. I think we were supposed to find Patches ages ago. Oh, we've already helped Raya. I was about to write some notes being like, ooh, Patches is going to tell us. No. <laughs> You're making your way to the Erd Tree, no? Well, I heard something that might help. A special means of reaching your destination. Have you ever seen an Iron Virgin? The clunky contraptions are whirlwinds of sickles and spiked wheels. But long ago, they were endowed with a spell of transposition. And get this, a surviving virgin sits at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Its transpositional powers fully intact. So right. If you get caught in it on purpose, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Erd Tree. Or so I'm told. <laughs> How much do I trust this information from uh, from Patches? <laughs> Not that much. Um, but there's a virgin at the bottom of a of a of a water well in Rey Lucaria. Can transposition us to the base of the Erd Tree. So I'm just going to write that down. Rare Lucaria. Base of Erd Tree, huh? That seems like a pretty convenient and useful teleport. I don't know if we can trust it though. So he's like, it's a trap that I set for you in Rare Lucaria instead. That's, uh, that's what I'm fully expecting. Oh yeah. Great story, isn't it? I'll tell you as many times as, as many you like. Times as you like. There's a surviving Iron Virgin Iron at the virgin. bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. And I heard... <laughs> yeah, he's... What are he's laughing about? I... <laughs> I don't know how to trust that information, but let's have a look. Has he got some new stuff? Uh, he sells a stone sword key. I need to buy that. Horse crest wooden shield. Hmm. Alright, well, I'll sell you some runes so I can buy your stone sword key. Um, what do I need? It's 5,000. I'll take it! Cheers for that! Cheers for that! Alright, patches. Patches moves. Um, I completely forgot about going to even revisit him in his cave because I didn't I thought nothing of it oh actually that being said that being said he is now moved 
I... I'm curious now. Hold on. Scenic Isle. Um... Yeah, I'm curious now. He's moved, so... If we go back to his little cave... Oh, I've got to move his... I've got to move his... Thing as well. He might move again, but we'll put a marker here. I'll keep the marker on Murkwater Cave so that I am reminded that it was his previous place, or he might he might still be here. Maybe he's omnipresent everywhere. Uh, we're running in here because he was guarding a chest, and he said with that chest that it was uh, it was for someone. Oh yes, I forgot about those bells. Um, it was for someone. Uh, which I have, you know, obviously assumed would be just a complete and utter trap. Um, but if he's moved, could be worth us just opening it up and seeing seeing what we get. Let's see what we get. Yeah, he's not here. What do you reckon? Patches has reminded me to check this. You reckon this is a teleporting chest or a trap? That's what I assumed. Let's have a look. Yep. Ensnared in a transporter trap. Alright, where are you taking me, Patches? Where are you taking me? <laughs> okay, he just drops you in the mistwood. And you're not allowed to you're not allowed to fast travel immediately. He pops you in the he pops you in the mistwood. How interesting is that? I'm fully expecting this big this big iron virgin at the bottom of the big water wheel to be another one of those. But there you go, we fell for another one of Patches's uh, Patches's traps. He drops us right in front of a big bear. All right. Interestingly enough, because we've been teleported, we can't fast travel right away. <laughs> uh, to be expected that we'd get pushed back. We knew it was coming. As always, we let curiosity get the better of us. Um, so let's... That's not what I meant to do. Um, let's... Get back on track, shall we? <laughs> I have to push forward until I can leave. Until I can fast travel. Good old Patches the Untethered. I'm assuming once we're out of the Mistwood, I should have just picked a different direction. Ah! Leave me alone. <laughs> should have picked a better direction than the one I ended up taking. Okay. We're almost out. I think it's one of those things where, if, uh, what was it? I think you have to, um, rest at a point of grace after a transporter trap, and then you can travel again. I think that's, that was the thing. Which is, I think, uh, something that I misunderstood that, uh, very early in the playthrough when I ended up going through that, uh, in episode number one, I went through that transporter trap. I misunderstood the whole fast travel thing. <laughs> I was like, oh, I just can't transport at all. Um, it, it just... misunderstandings. It's okay. Um, I haven't been on that path before. I don't think. I'm just gonna try and avoid these giants. Oh my god, if I get if I end up getting distracted and we start exploring Limgrave again, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't I can't do it. Get me get me out of here. Otherwise we'll just end up exploring Limgrave. Alright, we're gonna leave. How many how many numbers did we find for churches, by the way? We've got third church. Um fourth church. Third and fourth. A lot of a lot of churches, by the way. A lot of churches. Um, how 
Have, have we really only found a third and fourth? I swear we've also found a second one. Maybe we haven't. I swear we found a second one. That's bizarre. So we've still got more Churches of America to find. I'm assuming maybe there might be some in the Kaled region. Okay. Let's fast travel. <laughs> uh, we've rested. We can now travel. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So where were we? Where were we? Um... Here. Scenic Isle. There you go. It's funny how close we were to that bonfire when we went to, to Raya. I think that's because we must have been exploring this place during the day, so it might have been easier to miss, like, you know, a big light source like a bonfire. Because we were just here. We were right next to it. Really pays to, like, look individually, uh, individually at, like, all of these aisles, I guess. You fucking... Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at this guy. Hello again. Cheers for that. Cheers for that. Alright, well. Exploration rewarded with a grace point and patches derailing our whole thing once again. Um, I've got one of these. Let's see if we can even interact with it though. Almost. Acquire materials instead. No. Okay. So far, only one of those has actually led us somewhere new, and I, there's no way of knowing, uh, really, based on assum assumption only, uh, that the reason why we can't examine it to have a ghost thing lead us somewhere is because we already found the secret it pertains to, I guess. Alright, I'm going to push up over this way so we can work our way to the temple quarter because we kind of ran through we only quickly ran through the temple quarter um because we were on the way to discover that lovely um lovely glenstone key we fought off against another dragon we have been in here before this is the land of the Albanorix. I think this is a grace point that we haven't found yet. There you go. Fine. Just ticking off expired grace points that <laughs> we don't need anymore off the map. See, these, these gazebos are worth it too. Alright, what is this called? Folly on the Lake. Yeah, every so we need to check these and there's a bunch of them. That's the one where Raya was at. Oh, I didn't mean to rest. I didn't mean to rest. Get me out of here. These little crabs are so funny because especially when they're just like not aggro because the big ones are. The small ones are just like, I'm just eating my plants, bruh. I'm just eating my plants, let me be. And I'll leave you be. Ah, oh, and then these fucking crayfish are another story, dude. Is that one sleeping? They're sleeping. Sleeping crayfish. Alright, so they, yep, they usually house like smithing stones. What is it with Miyazaki and the and the deadly sea creatures? The deadly deadly seafood, man. Still can't and the fact that they have like they got an incredible range to them, like it takes me ages to be able to pull up my map again. Okay, fallen ruins of the lake. The Rose Church, which we've probably checked out. Let's go over here, we'll go over this side. Followed a beacon in the sky. Ooh, have we been here? Yes, this is Rose Church. We've been here. Is Vare still waiting outside of the Rose Church, maybe? Potentially. He 
he's smooth with it. He's smooth with it though. <laughs> he got them moves, dude. <laughs> He's like, he was like, we need these cat, we need these enemies or like livestock. We need deers to do somersaults, and we need whatever those things are to do cartwheels because why not? It's exciting. Right, that's my beacon. Oh, so many land octopus, octopi. Sorry, so many land octopi. Okay. Now, the Temple Quarter is an actual location, so I wonder if there's, like, a, a doorway or a ruin or anything to maybe go down into to check out. So, let's have a look. We've opened that chest before because we briefly ran through here. These guys are very, very interesting looking creatures. Ooh, the cartwheel smash. Okay. Oh, I thought I could jump to avoid that. Apparently not. You are impressing nobody, sir. Oh, God. Actually a little bit intimidating, huh? Just the way that they look at you like that. Ooh. Oh, oh, the double. Okay. Alright, I'll st okay, I'll stop fucking around. <laughs> They're like, how dare you make fun of us? How dare you play with us? We will we will crush you without a second thought. Do not do do, do not make fun of the creatures of the lake. Okay. Well, there's a steak of America here. So that's fun. Which means is there something a little more serious here? Or is it just there just because? I guess we'll try and check out maybe the main buildings and I wonder if there's like a, an entry point or something or whether this is all just sunken ruins to be ignored, I don't know. Maybe that chest that we opened that I can't even remember what we got was our little loot from this area. I don't know. I don't think we're getting into this thing. I think that this is like the first time that we've gotten a icon on the map that looks like that looks like this place. So usually when you've got like the ruin icon, you know that you can just go, you know, yeah, it's the same thing. Academy Gate Town and Temple Quarter have the same sort of thing where it's just, this is the sunken, sunken village, sunken ruins, but I don't know if it houses anything necessarily. That's where we got our lovely item. We're going to do Rhea Lucaria then. All right, we found a couple of we found a couple of new things. We found some grace points. Most important thing notably is Patches has moved now. Patches has moved to Rhea Lucaria. So we did find a couple of new things. Now we're going to push into the academy itself. Big old lift. It's big old lift time. Oh wow. <sighs> the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Wow. That's beautiful. Magical Bloodborne vibes. Damn. The place of Glinstone sorceries. 
Now this is actually gorgeous. All these birds alive? They are. Look at just a bunch of birds chilling in cages, dude. Damn, this place is actually spooky as hell. It's got a very spooky vibe to it. It's like Hogwarts if it was abandoned. Yeah. Imagine like the lore and world of Harry Potter if it was Miyazaki, it'd be crazy. Whoa, dude, nothing. Alas, nothing here. Ooh, enemies? Enemies, okay. I'm, I'm friends with some of your kind. Nope, okay. Okay. I'm friends with some of your kind. I could be friends. Instead, I kick you down the stairs! Fuck, I guess I'm coming to kick all your butts then. Alright. Time to be an enemy to all sorcerers. And then we'll go check in with Selen, and we'll be like, Hey Selen, I just murdered all of your friends, but I guess... She doesn't really care that much because she's in uh, exile, right? Oh. What is that up there? Hang on. Oh, it's one of those wooden creatures. Lock-on just automatically moved. Yep. We've interrupted your... Interrupted your study, have we? Oh, God, that's a new one. Okay. Oh, check that limited range. If I just stay at a distance. <laughs> oh, get ringed, baby. Get ringed. You can't get me from here. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> I missed! I got a bit too excited with my sword strike. Okay. I can't read. Golden Rune. Somber, Smithing Stone. Turtle Samurai takes on Rei Lucaria Academy. Nice. Ooh, we got new paintings, dude. Yes, it's like paintings of the sorcerers. Look how cool the faces look when they're not giant masks. So I guess these could these could be like great sorcerers who came before and they wear like just stone heads that resemble their appearance. That's actually something to note about all of these, fucking all of these Elden Ring NPCs, right? They're such interesting characters and they're all like pretty much almost every character you come across is masked or wearing a helmet in some some way, shape or form. And it's like, I wanna know what they actually look like. What does Gideon's face look like? What does Dee's face uh, look like? What does Selen's face look like? Like all these, all these masks, but what, is, what did Ensha look like underneath this thing? You know what I mean? I'd love to, I'd love for there to be a, like, there needs to be, like, and I've said this really in pretty much every single FromSoft game that I've played, is like, goddamn, like, uh, on top of, like, a bestiary, if there was, like, a, oh, information thing, where it was, like, you had an in-game information thing, um, dedicated to characters and enemies in the world, and it had, like, you could, like, get... You know, the names for these creatures and see 3D models of them so you can, like, really appreciate their designs and stuff. That's always something that I've really wanted to be able to do. Because uh, when you play one of these games, you don't know what any of the enemies are called outside of named enemies, like named bosses, until you go and have to, like, look it up later. You're like, you see that, you're like, what the fuck is that thing? Like, what is it known as? 
Um, same thing could be done in like an information thing that like collects all the NPCs that you found, maybe gives them like a character portrait! Maybe gives them a character portrait and information about them and stuff like that. I know that like From Software really doesn't do that kind of stuff and it makes sense. Um, but God damn, would it be beautiful. Alright, these guys are actually quite strong. Okay. They got the they got the glint Oh, it drains my FP. They got them they got them FP drain kisses. Okay. Can't use unsheath anymore. Get fucking bled. Okay. Well these things suck. We ain't got no FP, dude. Also, my favorite thing about, like, locations like this is Rare Lucaria Academy, an academy a school of learning, you know? Uh, this is for <laughs> school of learning, the sorceries. And they're like, ah, cool. So if you enter the academy through the front door, through the main gate, uh, you'll enter your, the lobby. And then if you, if you come out this door to your left here, you'll see the graveyard. <laughs> That's the fucking, like, the second thing. Here are all the sorcerers who failed before you. Just a quick reminder, as you will be walking through the death of many sorcerers over time. Just literally the, one of the second things that we see here is, here is, can't drain my FP if I don't have any, dude. Um... The second thing that we see is literally... So here's the graveyard. We just put it on the main walking trail. During the day, when you take a break from your classes, you want to walk through and ponder the lives of those who came before. <laughs> just a nice scenic... Scenic trail. Oh, and by the way, don't walk through the graveyard at night. I don't know if it's just exclusive to the night. I'm just saying it because it's night time. Uh, and it's fitting for my thing. Or it's like... Be careful. Be careful. Ah! <laughs> be careful. You might fall. Um, <laughs> you, might, you might end up with an arrow in your head. A giant one at that. It's just a hair tie. It's just a hair tie. Uh, be careful where you roam the lands at night. When you roam the graveyard, you may get some unexpected visitors. Ah, oh, there's a whole pathway from that spot that we just went to. Oh, shit. Ow. Okay, <laughs> we just got saved by that cliffage. Ooh, marionette soldier ashes, dude. Nice. Is when you wander the when you wander the academy's grounds at night, you may be attacked by glinstone zombies. Spirits of marionette soldiers created to serve a sorcerer. These marionettes are archers, each equipped with a pair of bows. On the verge of falling apart, they are ill-disciplined and attack without warning. Well, falling off that bridge was fine. Uh, you really should be using these silver pickled foulfoots, huh? Uh, because they boost item discovery. Let's just pop one of these bad boys. Mmm, chicken foot. I don't know what they could, these, these guys could even give me, but we'll just pop it anyway. Ooh, there is a scarab over there. Probably one of the worst places to drop. Uh, thing that boosts item discovery is just random graveyard with zombies. I don't think they're going to give me anything. Who knows? I could be surprised. Surprise me, punk. I don't even know how much it boosts item discovery by. Ooh, we got... Whoa! Oh, giant water wheel! Giant water wheel, boys. At the bottom of that, we've got a virgin. I'm gonna keep an eye out for that. Hello there, sir. You don't mind if I get a bit of your magic grease? Stab you in your behind? Yeah. Double kill. Oh god. The dog. Oh god, the dogs. Uh, plural. Dogs, plural. Oh, 
dog boy. Fuck. Please leave me alone. I'm on my midnight stroll through the academy. I am but a student here. I don't have... I wonder if I would get attacked if I had a uniform. Oh, that's what I should be using the boost item discovery on. I'm killing those sorcerers and then maybe they'll drop me... Drop me their uniform, dude. You there! I request whatever you've got. Spectral Lance. Oh, nice. Spectral Lance, dude. Um, usable on pole arms. Skill of the Headless Mausoleum Knights. The Ash War Grants an Armament. The Occult Affinity. Oh, the Occult Affinity, dude. Okay. So we've got Holy and Occult damage still. Shit. I really need to mess around with these Ashes of War, especially the Affinities, because we have not done that. We've, we're just sitting on Unsheath. Uh, I need to play around with that a bit more. I've now put that vo that thought out there for you. That I've said, I need to play with that more. And it'll be in five episodes time, because I will forget. We'll see how we go. <laughs> Ooh, and we got more of these purple crystals too. Uh, let me quickly jump down to that area with the grave, because there was an item there for me to pick up. I assume there would be a way up. <laughs> what was it? Over this way? At least the enemies aren't, like, respawning. Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> ah! Do you mind if we freeze real quick? <laughs> your boys are too busy praying to come and save your life. <laughs> Sorry, did I interrupt your worship? Get off of here. Oh, God. Get knocked. Oh! <gasps> Ooh, the full set! I was just expecting a helmet. Carrier knight set. Hell yeah, dude. We're not going to wear it because we're a samurai. But, helmet of the enchanted knights that once served the Carrion royal family. That's such a cool looking helmet, dude. The enchanted knights, anointed by the Lunar Queen, were all heroes of the highest honors, but fell into disarray with the decline of the royal family. Let me wear this shit just for a sec. Uh... Damn, that's fucking cool. Does not suit the turtleneck. Oh my god, that's actually so cool. Look at the design on there. Look at my little magic gem on my chest there. God, that design is great, man. My jewel wielding katana ass knight. Oh yeah! So cool. Let me, let me play around with this. Yes, perfect. It actually goes well with this. It actually goes kind of well with that. I don't think there's a way that you can make a samurai knight really work for you. Is there? There's not really a way you can make a samurai knight work. That's kind of cool though, isn't it? I wonder if we can upgrade the Carrion Knight armor in the same way we can upgrade Land of Reeds. Alright, we still have a medium load. Oh, it's it's tempting. <laughs> Wait me. I fucking... This helmet, man. Aha! Prisoner turned Carrion Royal Knight. Mm, maybe. Put our best helmet back on. <laughs> Actually, quite like that. That's cool. Sometimes just mixing things that then like aren't meant to go together, but actually do quite go together. Like, are really cool. That even kind of goes together. The exiled knight type beat. I mean, maybe the actual exile hood might actually be the one for that. It's so nice to actually see my character's face though. That's like that's like the only nice thing about it. Perfect. <laughs> um, all right, let me put this back on. I actually think it's like it's such a clash visually, but it looks so cool on the on the head. I mean, like it looks so cool. It 
let's dual wield katana our way through here because this armor doesn't suit a turtle shell. Uh, where are we? Aha. Uh -huh. So, I guess we're riding this bad boy down or up. Oh, fuck. That's bigger than I thought. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's run up here. Alright, this takes us back to where we were. Let's progress. Oh, the lighting in this game is so good. It's very, very pretty, huh? the little things man it's like the little atmospheric touches that really like sell this like environment to you am i jumping on this bad boy we can if we need let's push up here first before i do that what the fuck is that over there oh what the fuck is that over there i'm just gonna oh okay i was like pre preemptively being like oh i was expecting something comfort whoa 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 okay Holy shit, dude. Oh, no, I'm dead. Wow. Just fucked me up. Uh, we've come across this dude before. Uh, we have come across this guy with his little gravity powers. Gravity magic. Um, where was that? There was a bunch of them mining, like, what we assumed to be space debris in the ground and I think it was over this way uh, you guys you guys would know because you've watched my playthrough somewhere we've we found those guys before and they were like digging for rocks with gravity magic and now we've just found him again in Leonia god we have to go through that graveyard again Let's see. Uh, let's see. <laughs> the second run is always the one where we just go. All right. See you later, everybody. There is a path over that side. That is something to keep in mind. There is a path down there too, which uh, could be worth checking out. Oh, the dogs. Right. That's going to be an issue. All right. Hold on, everybody. See you later. We're going to see how many dogs actually proceed to f try and fight me. All of them. All of them! Shit. Shit. Oh, hang on. Fucking god. Okay, fucking... I, I legitimately... That was so close. That was, like, closer than I'd want it to be. <laughs> uh, ah! <laughs> Thanks, shield. <laughs> Fuck, man. So close. Had to quickly pull a sword out for that one. I mean, a shield out for that one. No, leave me alone. Alright. Shield wielding my katanas is silly, I get it. But it's so cool! It's like that thing in Dark Souls 2 where uh, when you wield like the weapons you get like a two-handing bonus thing. It's awesome. Hey, let me fucking examine your butt. I need to examine the butt. Excuse me, sir! You must be inspected. It's a standard... Ray Lucarian process. Trust me. Uh, it's my first day on the job, but I'm just trying to make sure I do this right. All right. Are you even able to be inspected in the butt? Butt inspection. Okay. Look, I get it. You don't want to do it. It's protocol, sir. Okay. Alright, I feel like he's not able to be backstabbed. Gravity well ability. You got a gravity well ability. 
Gravity well ability. Ooh, a sorcery. One of the glintstone sorceries that manipulates gravitational forces. Fires a projectile of condensed gravitational force. Those struck by it will be pulled towards the caster. A gravitational technique studied by the young Radan. His master was an alabaster lord with skin of stone. Mm, a gravitational technique studied by the young Radan. Okay. There's a lot of characters. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but there is a lot of characters with the name with letters of M and R and G. We got all the god names. We've got like Melina and uh, this Muriel at the Church of Vows, and there's a bunch of other uh, there's other M's. I'm pretty sure. Uh, we've got Radigan, Renala, um, and then these other names that were named by uh, Gideon, and it's all G's, R's, and M's. G R R M. That's that's what <laughs> that's what George contributed to the game. He's like, make sure all the characters spell out my initials. <laughs> Somber Smithing Stone three. Okay, so we came to this point to get a gravity well sorcery. And now we're, we're doing the water well lift, I, I assume. Time to do a bit of a water well lift. And then I guess we go over the other side. Yeah! Let's go, baby! Alright, how are we doing this? Is there a ledge for me? There is a ledge for me. Because, how does this... Yep, it does... Uh, okay, it's going to curve dangerously and then throw us off the, the edge. That makes sense. Okay. Hello there, mate. You don't mind if I just poke around a bit. I'm just going to stealth. I'm just going to stealth here, lads. Yes, thank you. A stake is nearby. What is this site called? Schoolhouse classroom. There you go. So, and there's our teacher. So, after you do your lovely stroll in between classes, <laughs> you do your lovely stroll between classes, you make it back here, and they'll teach you a lesson on <laughs> beating your ass with gravity. Ah. It feels like when you're in school and you're roaming the halls without a uh, without permission. It's at night. We are supposed to be in your common room. What house do you belong to? Uh, house of fucking uh, this. House of butthole. That's where I reside. I still don't. I don't have my. I don't have my foul foot. Um, thing anymore. Hold on. I want to try and get your clothes. Eat chicken foot! Obtain clothing! You better give it to me. I don't eat raw chicken foot for nothing. <laughs> You're mocking me. You're mocking me. With your foot in the air. Uh, this way. Let's go down this way first. Ooh, ornamental magical stuff decorating the walls. Okay, so I'm assuming we got Conspector Scroll. I'm assuming, like I say, we got Glinstones, which are the blue crystal stuff, and then the purple ones, I guess. That's where all of the gravity related cool stuff comes from. Glinstone Craftsman's Cookbook. Okay, we got a scroll to give to Selen, I believe, and then we've got a couple of books. Okay, let's have a look. Conspectus Scroll. A sorcery scroll from the Academy of Rhea Lucaria details superior sorceries taught to scholars worthy of donning the stone crown and studying a certain conspectus. Okay, so I guess everyone is wearing a stone crown? Is that what the, is that what the helmets are all about? Glinstone Comet Shard and Stone Shower. Oh yeah, I've got that smithing stone minus bell bearing. That I need to give to Twin Maiden people. 
Uh, where is the fucking thing? Here. Um, five. Okay, so we're missing three and four. Magic grease, drawstring magic grease, magic bone arrows, and magic bone bolt. Nice. That's actually useful for me because I can use a bow. Get a bit of magic in you. Get a bit of magic in you. No clothing though. You guys let me down. Ten points to Gryffindor. Eh. Eh. Uh. Oh god. I'm just gonna Meow. Meow. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? I can't even see. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Oh, it's a pot! Yeah. You guys got pots here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> You have giant pots, I get it. Fuck, dude. Okay. For some reason, it make I didn't even question this, but it actually makes perfect sense that uh, it would be they would be tied to a magical origin. Cause they are sentient pots. <laughs> hey! Do they hail from Rhea Lucaria, you think? Living Jar Shard. When they just explode in guts, man. I don't know. So far we only, we only have... And obviously we only have one... We only have one that's friendly. Alright, you wanna long range it? You wanna long range it? Get lit on fire. I'll long range it too, you see this? That's right. How does it feel? Burn, baby. Okay, stop that. Thank you. Okay. Now I will fight. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Look upon him. He's dead. That's what you get. Look upon your friend. And my fucking foul foot ran out again. Doesn't last for long, does it? I just want to blend in like a sorcerer and then they'll go, Oh, you work here. Sorry. We'll let you be. How many sorcerers we've got to kill to get some clothes around here? Can I open? Oh. Oh, it's been a while since we've seen one of those bad boys. Because we, like, realistically, we're getting a lot of hats. We're not getting a lot of anything else. Oh, actually, that's a lie. More than I think. The chest pieces are kind of the meat of the outfits, though. Oh, there's, there's other people shooting magic at me. I was about to get stealth. You guys, you're going to ruin my stealth. I wanted to get a stealth in that guy. We've seen another half of that thing on a cliffside before, that little statue thing. Is it just you? Oh no. See, you've ruined my surprise. So I guess this at least shows that there are there are they have warriors that are not limited to fucking hell. They have warriors that are not limited to just using staffs, but they also use blades and even a little buckler shield. That's right. Can't even afford socks and shoes, man. What you doing? It helps keeps us in tune with the fine earth of which we study. Glintstone. We don't need shoes. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go then. Knock knock. The fuck is that? Red Wolf of Radigan. Oh shit. Uh, good boy. Boo! Right, I'm gonna hide behind this thing. Oh my god. <gasps> Magical fucking wolf, dude. With a sword! With a magic sword! Oh, that's fucking cool! Okay, Sif. Oh, shit! I haven't even got a hit on you yet. Oh, my god! Oh, boy! <laughs> this is actually awesome. <laughs> oh, 
it's so fucking cool. Okay. I'm sorry to do it to you, bud. In the same way that I put down those dogs out there, you've got to go to... How did... Hitboxes? Hitbox, please? How did that second strike get me? That was awesome. Your boy? Your boy? That was only the guard dog, dude. That was the that was the wolf of Radigan. That was just the guard dog, man. Okay. Good dog. They they really went, let's do let's do a magic sif. Much more aggressive sif with that sword in the mouth. <laughs> so cool. Level up. Um I'll push us to level 50, I think. I'll push us to level 50. Let me let me pop some pop some runes. I'll pop a pop a couple of these bad boys. How much do they give me again? Almost enough. Almost enough. So they give me 1200 each. So I'm going to use some of these instead. Yeah. Oops, there's a little bit more, but that's fine. All for that health, baby. Alright, level level 50. We finally hit level 50. The Red Wolf of Radigan, so cool. Ah, oh, look at this stuff on the wall, man. This is so sick. Let's have a look. What do we got? The artwork in this game is top-notch, by the way. It's actually so good. And I love that they're... We've got... We're getting some unique people. Ooh, hello. That's cool. Any on the other side? No. Oh, yeah. Some on the other side. <laughs> Literally right there. Damn, they all look so cool. And that's uh, Ray Lucaria's. Why are there crabs here, bro? Ray Lucaria's version of uh, Fluffy from the Philosopher's Stone. They're like, that's just our guard dog, Fluffy. Making sure that you're not out at night. Oh, yep. The the staircase is out. Can't get there yet. We're working on that one. <laughs> what the fuck? So we got... We got crabs here, because, of course... Yes! We got crabs here, because always... Cra always crabs. Um... As well as I'm going like it's... Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Excuse me? What the fuck is that? Oh, God. That's scary as shit. Um, ooh! Is holding a baby in, like, stone arms, dude? What the fuck? That's so cool. <gasps> oh, I'm sure... <laughs> <laughs> Yeesh. Got so, so so shocked I just went, you know what, see ya. Bye. <laughs> oh fuck. I was like, you know what guys? See you later. I don't want to deal with that with nightmare fuel. Fucking death Death machine? What the hell? It's holding a baby in its arms. Guys, you guys are missing a chunk of floor. You guys gotta fix that. Someone could slip and die. Where did that thing even come from? There it is. It's just chopping down the trees. Holy shit. Look at those, look at those big oars. What the fuck? <laughs> it's, it's made eye contact. All right, let's fucking, all right, what are you about? Whoa! 
<laughs> the crab collateral damage. Holy crap. It just launches it and then swings it around. Oh, it's strong too. <laughs> oh, why do I keep dodging? It's the only reason I keep getting hit. Holy fuck. All right, we gotta make it just roll off the edge. Okay. What? Whoa! Can you play that back in slow motion real quick? Cause what the fuck? Ah! The merry-go-round of death. What the fuck? Oh! Fuck. I want to get off this ride. Oh. <laughs> uh, wee! Alright, I think I need... I think I need blunt damage to really kind of maximize my... Uh, up. Up. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Fucking hell. Yeah, I feel like I really need blunt damage. But I don't have a strong weapon that does blunt damage, so I'm gonna have this will have to make do for now. Okay. This is genuinely fucked up. Yes, I wanna see inside of it. What, what is that? Oh, they're like snake things? What the hell? I need to see that in slow motion to really see what the fuck just happened there. We got pulled in by a bunch of like arms, but I also saw saw a I also saw like a snake head in there. What the fuck, man? Um, what do, but if I wanted a good blunt weapon, I need like strength to wield like a big hammer or to at least like, you know, I've got my, um, let's have a look. Standard pierce, piercing, this is all standard piercing, slashing, slashing, piercing, standard, pierce, strike, these two. The Brick Hammer, which needs 31 strength. The Battle Hammer, which needs 26 strength. And I can activate my little spell thing, which allows me to wield stronger things. But we'll take off the... Take off this stuff for now. Let me... Let me get the hammer. We'll put the hammer on, right? Uh, the Battle Hammer. Uh, and we'll just have to, when we see another one of those things, we'll try this and see if it does some more damage. But obviously, it, it does less anyway because of the, um... Wait a minute. Yeah, it does less anyway because it's not as... We're not leveling it up, which I think is, you know, fair enough. Uh, if I two-hand it, I don't even have to pop the... If I two-hand it, I don't have to pop the potion. I think we can get on this staircase if we jump down onto this thing. I think that's the point. It looks like it. But before we do that... You ever seen a samurai with a hammer? <laughs> samurai with a hammer, boys. Oh, what a sight to behold. Stone Firefly. The tiny crabs are just so peaceful in this game. Their pal oh yes, and their pals are just their giant crab pals, are just so rude in comparison. Golden seed. Uh, is that a second one that we have now, or is it? Yes. Okay, we can we can do that at a grace point. I was just talking about you! Hi! <laughs> it's funny that. Funny how that works out. Fucking hell. I'd rather not. I'm busy. I have a date. With this staircase. Okay, so staircase is the way to go then. I was wondering if it was going to be like a multiple choice scenario. You could go that way. Can I ride? No, can't ride torrent here, naturally. No horses on Academy grounds! You should know this. Actually, can I get up here? Oh, there's a big staircase. And I can get up here. 
Hello guys, you're just scavenging in the mud there. Oh shit. Okay. There is another pathway. Ah! Where's that coming from? Oh. Oh. Did you like those moves, boy? <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Oh, he got two heads! He's got two. Yeah, so each head must represent, like, people in those paintings, because the one that has two people in them is represented with two heads. I wonder what their relationship was, to have, like, the two characters being represented together. Hey, Glinstone Wet Blade. That is in... this shit, right? I believe, yes. Mm. When applying an affinity using physical or magic type Ashes of War, an additional infinity of magical frost can be chosen. Sick. Alright. Lovely. Mm. It's wood, just cut it down. I have a big hammer, just fucking smash it. Give doors physical health. Good old does not open from this side. Yeah, give me your hat. I want to wear it. I don't want to burn through all of my chicken feet to do so. You fucks. Okay. We can also go over here. These guys are very susceptible to giving stuff, but they just give item crafting stuff. Oh, there's pots. Better not be a big pot nearby. <laughs> Another cracked pot. Hello, pot boys! I'm friends with one of your uncles, please. Let me be. Actually, what do living jar shards do again? Alright, you know what? Ooh, actually... Ugh, I feel so bad when they explode like that. Oh. Right, I feel like that is useful. Oh. Stance break the old pot, why don't you? They didn't even give me cracked pots. Uh, not cracked, you know, the pot shards. That's what I only killed them for. Oops. That's where we came from. Okay. We haven't really capitalized on those throwables with the pots and stuff. I haven't really worked that one into my playstyle. Um, okay, we already did that, but I can jump over here. Ah, oh, there's choices, man. So I can jump over this side, or we can go on that staircase, which takes us into there. And I assume then... Whoa! So that tower is so much more taller than I thought. Alright, we're gonna go this way. Aha. Uh -huh. I saw you. Fuck, and then we can take uh, we can take a pathway on the rooftops again, like we did in, um, fucking Stormvale. Last time we took the rooftops, we accidentally ended up at the fucking boss ahead of time. Okay, so that's the door that's from the other side. Uh, okay. Let's go down here. Oh. This is also just... <laughs> Aha! Wonderful. Not as my... Totally missed that door. Totally missed that door. Alright, well, we're going this way, then. This reminds me of Dark Souls 1, where you had to, like, in Anor Londo, go up one of those things to progress by going in the broken... <gasps> like... I was expecting an enemy, not a fucking giant rolling boulder. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's out coming. It's coming out of a portal. Oh, that's clever. Like, it's one boulder. And it would, and it, does it fall into like a portal down there maybe? And then it just comes back again. It's like infinite loop of just... Instantly just spawns as soon as you get onto the bridge. Oh, that's fucking hilarious, dude. How do we do it without dying? Just have to be quick about it or what? Is it a duplicate? Alright, it's already- oh shit. Uh, fuck. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, oh, you can avoid them. It's okay, you can just avoid it. I thought it was just like, gonna kill me no matter what. Yeah, fuck yeah! <laughs> I wish we could see if it does like go through like a portal and then just comes back. It looks like it does because it's on like a timer to just happen in succession. That's fucking great. Fucking doors! All the doors in Rei Lucaria are locked. Oh shit, hang on. That's going that way. Where the fuck's that going? Oh, that might take us there. That may, might take us to the Rei Lucaria gate. Would we be able to come back if we went through there? I need to find... I need to find a point of grace before I do something like that. I need grace. Ooh. Moongrum. Carry a knight. Always on approach. Dude, sick. Hello. What? No! Oh, and I'm dead. The literal parry... Oh, <laughs> parry, one hit KO, refuse to elaborate, leaves. I, mean, I just needed, I needed a grace point, man. I needed a grace point. Good old, good old Moongrum. Can always believe in Moongrum. Fuck, okay. Let's do that again, shall we? Oh, we're not actually like hugely far away. I forgot, we've been exp I've been running around that area for so long that I realized we're actually not too far away from a grace point if we want to take that teleporter and see where it takes us. All right, we can actually just avoid this boulder. That is a nice boulder, actually quite easy to dodge. I, I panicked much more than I needed to for this thing. Moongrum, I challenge you to a rematch. Where hopefully you will not parry me. Just testing you. Okay, why aren't you within guard countering range, man? That shared dodge, huh? Oh, he's switching up. Okay. He's switching up. He's casting sorceries. Whoa! Okay, I see what's going on here now, bud. And healing. Okay, we'll do a mutual heal. But then I'll fuck you up, okay? Couldn't attack him through him charging up that attack. That was cool. Unfortunately, sir. You are dead. Oh, I got the Carrion Knight shield. Hell yeah. Him switching to a... Um, what is the word that I'm looking for? He's switching to a staff. Was his undoing. Carrion Knight shield. A teardrop-shaped medium-sized shield embedded with blue glintstones, carried by knights who served the Carrion royal family. Excels when facing magic or holy attacks. Just who were these knights preparing to fight? No skill. No skill? Doesn't have the parry skill? Maybe he had a weapon with the parry skill then. You need 15 intelligence. It's a That shield's too smart for me. Chuck it out. Uh, it requires too much of a big brain. I don't have one of those. What is that noise? I'm hearing some... 
some magic pulsating through the air. Okay, we've got a lift. And then we've got a... Pathway. Oh, I see you there. Oh! Oh! <gasps> Hey, the old death! Oh, yeah, right. These fucking things. I've seen them on a loading screen before. I totally had not seen those in a while. It took me by surprise again, actually, seeing them. As soon as I saw them on a loading screen, I was like, oh, fuck yeah, we've seen them on a loading screen before. It's just a shock to actually see one face to face. And get one-shotted by a fucking spray-and-pay sorcery. <laughs> that was nuts. I was expecting him to do one of his little dainty little ones. Not here. Eat this. That dude, you just got flattened. So cool. Okay. Now I think this pathway down here uh, might be that door that was closed on the other side. Fuck you, you, f you fuck. <laughs> With your cheap little spell. Yeah, I think this is... Yeah, this is the door that's closed on the other side. The singular... I don't know, the couple of candles. Cool. Okay, shortcut door opened. We now no longer have to go the boulder route anymore. Uh, well now we're going to take the lift. See where the lift takes us. And then we're going to try this teleporter out. What a weird place for a lift. Okay, so it's like a lift before a cathedral. Can't really remember the last time I took a lift that just opens up in such a open space. You got any grace? I need I need some grace, please. So I can take a risk on a teleporter. Oh my god. Are those mountains of books? Oh shit. I'm about to do some learning in here. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I think I'm about to do more than just learn. Ah! Ooh. What the fuck, dude? Hush, little Culver. That's Renala. Holy fuck. I'll soon birth thee anew. A sweeting, fresh and pure. Holy shit, that's Renala on the painting that we saw earlier. Oh my fucking god, okay. They're, they're fucking throwing books at me. Okay. Where are their legs? I fully expected uh, us to be... Whoa, okay. I fully expected this to be so much deeper into the academy. Are we, like, we're already at Raya? Raya, no, sorry, Raya Lucaria. We're already at Raya, I meant to say, um, what the fuck? Renala. I, I can't even fucking focus. Look at her! This music is absolutely gorgeous, dude. Okay, what did, ah! Okay, they explode, that's what they do. I assumed that they was gonna shoot stuff at me. I already got books coming at me too. 
Do I just have to kill all the random legless students around the place? To get her out of her little bubble? Ah! What the fuck, man? Ah! Kids, please! So this is where the students hang out. Okay. And this whole time I've been talking about these kids being able to take walks. These students being able to take walks. They don't- they don't have any legs! Nobody's taken walks through any graveyards around here. Oh my god. I was about to make a comment about the lecture hall from Bloodborne. About how it's, it's very similar. Except these guys don't look like slug things. Why are you singing? Oh, what the fuck? Hang on. Are more just coming out of you? It's... Where did that one come from? It just fell on the ground. Are you just dropping them in? Wait, what the fuck's happening? Oh, they're just dropping off the roof. Oh, killing the singing ones breaks the shield. The shield is a song. I get it. Oh, this is fucking... So bizarre, dude. Ooh. I'm so confused. What the f Oh, that's damage phase. Okay. Oh no, is she gonna just fill the whole room with them again? Miyazaki's like, damage phase, except you're gonna be distracted by feet. <laughs> Miyazaki putting them feet back in, baby! Amazing feet ahead. Fuck. Ah! Okay, so this is like a gimmick fight. I, I didn't expect a gimmick fight for Renala. That's a that's a little bit of a shame. Renala was getting hyped up for ages. Like queen of the full moon and also being a witch, but she's just floating in an orb, protecting the egg. Come, sweetings. No no no. Oh god, hang on. What? What are you doing? the fuck? What's she doing? She's turning them into gravestones. Ah. Oh. Oh, I just broke her spell. What the hell? Her egg disappears when she comes down. Ah, oh, second phase. It's just gone into a cutscene. Is that why? Ah, oh, my beloved. Have no fear. I will hold thee. Ye will be countless born, forever and ever. What the fuck? Upon my name is Rani the Witch. Mother's rich slumber shall not be disturbed by thee. What? Foul trespasser. Send word far and wide. Of the last queen of Caria, Renala of the full moon. 
Whoa. Wait, what? <laughs> and the majesty of the night she conjureth. Whoa. All right, we're going to need to talk about this after this. Oh, death laser. What the fuck, dude? Watch out for the Kamehameha wave. Holy shit, Renala. Hang on, I'm so confused. She has transformed into a moon. Oh god, it's coming for me. Oh! God, this gives me... <laughs> Holy fuck, dude, what the fuck? This is actually beautiful and I'm so shocked right now. I don't even know what to say. We're gonna have to really talk about this after, dude. I'm gonna have to really talk about this. Come, old sworn dragon. <laughs> what? What? Old sworn dragon? I can't even summon a horse. That's like my thing for this. Oh no. You've just summoned a whole fucking dragon. What? <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. It's temporary. Temporary dragon. Oh my god, the literal death beam. Look at the moon in the back. Oh my god. Oh, dog. Not wolves. Okay. That's okay. What are you doing? Okay, this moon thing. Come, oath sworn giant. <laughs> I'll take a oath sworn giant over a dragon any day. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a bloodhound knight. What the fuck? Dude, a bloodhound knight is not allowed to kill me in a boss battle. Alright, Renala, I'm not playing anymore, dude. Whoa. Come, oh swan <laughs> ah, see you see you later. Ah. Oh my god. This is one of the most beautiful boss rooms I've ever seen. It's just like Rom. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped. <laughs> I jumped. Dude. It's so cool because it's like Rom, the vacuous spider at Boss Arena almost. Oh, there's frost. There's ice. There's ice. Okay, ice. Okay. Oh, stop with the giant. <laughs> oh. oh no! Oh fuck! <laughs> no! One hit, dude. One hit, Renala. Fuck. One, one hit, dude. <laughs> Those spells right at the end. Oh, and we're back here. All right, we've at least got a shortcut. There's no Stake of America for this one. All right, we're going to take this moment to talk about it. So, uh, out of the egg came darkness, and then, ah, uh, okay, this is interesting. So in my notes, because we have, we have Witch Renner, we met which Renna, and next to that I have written Luna Princess Rani, or Rani, however it was, pr however it was pronounced, Renna and Rani. So did the Luna Princess Rani just appear to turn herself into, uh, to turn herself into 
Renala? Because Renala's crawling on the floor after her egg, like, in a weakened state. Like, that's all she cares about. But then we're transported into a literal, like, moon dimension where she back and she had, like, full magic casting power, baby. They got, they got like, Glinstone Kamehameha. Oh, I've got a shortcut, right. Glinstone Kamehameha wave. That was <laughs> one fucking hit away, dude. <laughs> one fucking hit away, god damn it. <laughs> Far out, man. That's so funny. So the first phase is like a gimmick fight, and I'm actually I'm actually happy. I'm happy. Because I was initially gonna be very disappointed that Renala was going to be a a gimmick fight where you just need to kill some swinging uh singing choir children and then just stab her until she dies. Uh so a proper a proper fight is much appreciated. A cool fight nonetheless as well. Those sorceries are amazing. Those sorceries are amazing. Okay. Okay, now this now this makes so much more sense. We don't have to just mindlessly slaughter the children. We just take out the singing ones. Oh, and then they all just die anyway. Okay, they all just go down. And then we get granted... We get granted vision of feet. Vision of feet ahead. Oh, she's actually got an attack there. You can almost just one-shot her. Come, sweet Time to be born. I don't know what's happening when she's doing that. She like turns them into like glowing gravestones, but we like interrupted the attack by killing the choir children, and then they fade away. I want to watch this cutscene again. Usually we on repeats you can skip them, but I want to I want to watch this one again. So let's see. Let me get another look at this cutscene. Uh, Renala with the crescent baby. the crescent moon shaped hat. Have no fear. I will hold thee. Ye will be countless born. I honestly expected our main character to almost just like walk up alongside her and like just shove our weapon in her back. Like when that scene, like when we're just like walking up to it, I was like, what the fuck? So out of the egg spouts darkness. Upon my name is Rani the Witch. Rani the Witch, but not the Lunar Princess Rani? Mother's rich limber shall not be disturbed. Who is the daughter? Who is the. No, hang on. Mother's rich slumber. Send word far and wide. Mother's slumber? Of the last queen of Caria. Renala. Renala of the full moon. Look at that shot. It's absolutely fucking gorgeous. Okay. And the... Alright, we ain't playing now. We ain't playing. Sorry to disappoint you, Renala, but we fucking you up this time. You got a beautiful move set and an amazing boss arena. Look at this fucking place, man. But I've got to put an end to you. I'm sorry. That thing is so cool. <laughs> that thing is awesome. Not the fucking oh god! If we if we get killed by a fucking bloodhound knight, dude, I swear to god. Best way to deal with those enemies is by not dealing with them. Oh. 
we beat her without her summoning a dragon. Rani is the daughter. Of thy night into being. Okay. Rani the witch. The lunar princess Rani is the daughter of Renala. Remembrance of the full moon queen. So how is... I need to go back to my, to my episode where we met Rana and she mentioned it. Oh, fuck, dude. I need to go back to that, that episode that we spoke to to Renna and what she had to say about Rani because that's just <laughs> I, just, I didn't write any context for my note I've just got uh, Witch Renna and the Lunar Princess Rani Where did he flee my sweetings come out from whence he hide there are books and light aplenty, dither not. Come out, say I, or will ye be gravestones to be better born anew? Is that why Rhea Lakari is filled with gravestones? I didn't expect Renala to also be spoken to afterwards, dude. Alright, hold on, real quick. We also got a chest in here, too. Holy fuck, man. Rhea Lucaria Grand Library. Where did he flee, my sweetings? Come out from whence ye hide. Ah, thou. Is it thy wish to be born anew? To become a sweeting? Reborn of my beloved egg. <laughs> egg? What the fuck? Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. Rebirth, Cosmetics, Leave. What? Cosmetics. Oh! The whole reborn a new thing is actually quite literal. I'm very confused. We just beat... What the fuck? We just beat a boss. Absolutely gorgeous boss fight. And then she becomes a cosmetic vendor? What? Huh? I'm confused. What does rebirth mean? Oh, uh, use a lava tear. Hold on a minute. Be not alarmed, nor afeard. I would birth thee as a sweeting, <laughs> fair and fine. Renala's gonna birth me. Uh, we got a remembrance. Oh. Now, see, what I was about to say, because I didn't even... I was, like, looking at the remembrance thing, so I was like, did we even get a rune? Because I was uh, literally about to stare you dead in the eyes and be like, do we have to kill her while she's idle and just, like, peaceful to get her the great rune out of the egg, right? But no, okay, we've got it right here. <laughs> um, I was about to contemplate murdering her. Uh, all right, the larval tier. Oh, it literally says material needed by Renala to grant rebirth. No way this was written in there before, right? That's such a spoiler. Wait a minute. Why would they write that in the in the dialogue? Or does the item description change once you meet Renala? Does the item description change once you meet her? I don't remember reading that. I remember reading that the lava tier was required for rebirth, but not that it was literally required by the amber egg cradled by Renala to birth people anew. So it allows the real real uh, bleh, <laughs> reallocation of attributes. So we could change our character if we want. At this point, level level fifty, we could go full sorcery. We're not going to, but it's good to know that uh, respecking is there. But it's tied to. Renala. She's now just like a rebirth cosmetic NPC. But we got the great rune. And we've got the remembrance. So let's have a look at that. Amber egg clutched by Renala, queen of the full moon. Great rune of unborn demigods. Perfect for those who have been born anew. Children born anew by Renala are all frail and short-lived. Imperfect beings, each and all. Uh, that makes sense why they all are just crawling on the ground. Being creepy little children. 
Hmm. Uh, and now we have a remembrance. Where's that? Where's our remembrance at? Where do we where do we find that again? Where do we find the remembrance? Or is the remembrance this? I've forgotten. It's been so long since we killed um what's his face? Godric the Grafted. There it is. Oh yeah, because it's with the rune things. There we go. Remembrance of Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, hewn into the Erd Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes. In her youth, Renala was a prominent champion who charmed the Academy with her lunar magic, becoming its master. She also led the Glinstone Knights and established the House of Curia as royalty. That's such a cool and pretty looking icon as well. So... I think what we faced in the first phase was Renala in her current state, very much focused on protecting the egg with her sweetings. And then the second phase was like not actually Renala herself, but like a spell or something cast by Rani the Witch. It's locked? What? Okay. Like a spell cast by Rani the Witch? This doesn't look like a statue of Marika either. Usually all these statues that we've seen have been like, um... Like the Marika statues. That looks different. Yeah, so I think the, the second phase was like her in her prime. It, f it feels like it would be it would be that, like her in her prime. We got a bunch of runes from that though. I'm gonna put a point into strength. I'm gonna put my strength up to 20. Ooh, can we alter our garments? Can we alter these, the carrion royalty? Yes, we can. Oh, I didn't mean to just do that straight away. It takes the weight off and reduces... Okay, so it makes it lighter, but it makes it weaker in every aspect. I think it removes the cape! The icon doesn't have the cape there. Why would I do that? Why would I remove the cape? That's the best part about it. Okay, we have a locked chest in here. Um, Renala, do you possess the key? Do you possess the key to the chest? I pray to you so you can give me key. Can I have key? Maybe you need something else. Rapture. Egg rapture. Gesture in front of an NPC. Give me the key to your chest. <laughs> your amazing chest. Um, okay. I'm, a, I'm gonna move on. Dude, I'm actually quite shocked. I'm quite shocked that we got Renala already. I was expecting Rhea Lucaria to be like, so much more massive. And she, like, I'm assuming she's the final boss. I thought we were going up there, dude. I thought we were gonna ascend all the way up to that tower. Is this, I think there's still, is there still more to, to explore in Ray Lucari Academy? I think there is. I think so. I thought there was a whole there's a whole pathway I can jump down. But now she's just gonna stay there with an egg. I was fully expecting us to like shatter the egg or like, you know, power to like something with the egg actually having to be busted. But it seems like it's fine. She's just going to keep cradling that egg, and then we can reallocate our attributes. Oh. Now, I think we can jump down. If we go over this side, there's a path that we can jump down. I think. I'm so glad that that second phase was there, though. Like, still thinking about how fucking cool that was. But goddamn. Alright, we can go this way. 
I don't know about that path, but we're going to follow some rooftops for a little bit, because there's more. And we need to figure out this whole deal with um, Rani and Renna. Okay, so where's that big ass tower? Okay. Oh, that's like cut off and separate. We can. Hmm. There's a whole area. Can we go down there? Can we go all the way around here? It feels like there's so much more. Maybe fucking Renala is not the final. Maybe Renala is not like the the end of Ray Lucaria. There's just more. Uh, we need to... <laughs> these fucking arrows. Uh, we need to go to another Divine Tower, I assume this one. Oh no, hang on, this is not the Divine Tower, it's the, it's the Study Hall. But that's... is that the tower? Because we need to go to the Divine Tower of Leonia to activate the Great Rune. Alright, we need. that means we need to go back to the Study Hall and figure it out. I don't know how to... I don't know how to keep going through there. Um, oh, I see. I know where that is. We were just up, we were just down there. Alright, I'm going to take this opportunity to, while we're here, just because otherwise I'm going to keep thinking about it, is I'm pulling up, I'm going to pull up my Elden Ring, pull up my Elden Ring episode where we met, um, <laughs> pull up my Elden Ring episode where we met, um, that, our lovely witch lady. Okay, and I need That's to see what she says. Alright, you're going to get, you're, you're going to hear a bit of my own dialogue as well. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, so we talk about... We talk about Torrent. I know this is sidetracking, but... Alright, so she gives us the spirit stuff. She gave us the bell. Uh, and then she just disappeared. Okay, hang on. What did she say? Okay. And very interesting, so her design, she got her big old hat on, and she's got like two heads. A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am Witch Renna. Yeah, so I am Witch Renna. I heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed the power. Oh, uh, you know what? I think we might have spoken to someone else as well that gave us more information about her. Uh, this is good. this is hard because we've spoken to so many people. It's like who gave us that that information? A bell for calling forth spirits. Summon them from it from ash. And they to the herd tree. I just want to know if we've gotten any further information from her that can really like sort of open this up and give us a bit more. A bit more clarity. So she she gives us the spirit. She introduces herself as Rena. Forgive my intrusion. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be? I wonder. Before the tarnished tire of obeisance of the two fingers. There's someone that we. There's someone else that we must have spoken to. There's someone else that we must have spoken to after encountering um, Renna, which then tells us about the Lunar Princess Rani. Or was that Gideon? Maybe that was Gideon, and I added that in my notes, because that's added around the same time, I think. Let's go back to... Um, when we can, we're going to go back to Gideon. Oh, Gideon's dialogue will change about Renala because he'll be talking about because we'll tell him that we that we offed her. Well, we didn't off her, but we got the great rune from the egg. I think it might have been Gideon who told us more information about the Lunar Princess Rani. It's hard when this this game has is huge and there's been so much lore and information and dialogue that when it's like you try to like recoup your thoughts during the playthrough and you're like, wait, let me go back all the way to the beginning. What the fuck does any of this mean? <laughs> you're like trying to piece it together, but Rani, at least we know, is the daughter of Renala. But who is Rena? Ah! 
Oh god. Oh god. Hang on. They've got wings now. Ah, oh, look at this fucking. They gave him wings. Ah. How does Renner tie into that? So. Because <laughs> their names are far too similar. And she only appeared at night in the church. Holy fuck, you guys. Can you stop avoiding my attacks? Oh god, that's a Crucible Knight move. I'm fucking sick of these guys. No! Dude, okay, I'm alive. <laughs> I'm fucking sick of these things. What the fuck? Die! <laughs> you fucks. <laughs> stop. God damn it. So dumb. Okay, so they've we've got we've got uh puppeteered winged enemies now. Oh we've got a bell. We've got a bell. Oh what was that? Do not book me. Not hit me with a book. Who do you think you are, Mosgus? Get out of here. More crystal darts. Meteor Bolt. Oh boy, Meteor Bolt. Enchanted work of craft made in tandem with the full moon crossbow. The tip is embedded with glinstone. Like a shooting star, these bolts leave a beautiful trail when fired. Deals magic damage. Mate. The... the cosmos. The space aspect of Elden Ring is super, super interesting to me. I can't wait to see where this goes. Um, can't wait to see where I have to go from here. Are we dropping down onto the roof? Guess we're dropping down onto the roof. There's an item up there, though. Rooftop jumping. Far out. Alright, there's a bunch of them. Um. Obviously, because it's just a bunch of, uh, it's a bunch of. No return spots. You just glitching in that roof, are you? God. Ah. Oh. <laughs> um, there's a every jump is a jump of no return. So I I can go that way, which takes me to an item, or I can go this way, which goes further. That's the way to go. But then there's stuff up and over there as well. Hmm. Got a ladder. Far out, dude. Okay. An imbued sword key. An imbued... Oh yeah, because we haven't even made it down to the bottom of the water wheel. Can't forget about that. We've still got the whole bottom of the water wheel thing where we get transpositioned. Um, unseals sending gate, but disappears upon use. Breaks the seal on the imp statues guarding the sending gates enshrined in each belfry, but remains embedded in the statue after use, meaning it can only be used once as an item. So there are imp statues that guard sending gates in a belfry as well. Okay. Lunar belfry. We're gonna get we're getting Dark Souls two up in here, boy. You know something that I really don't understand is uh, why. 
why do smithing stones exist and are named the way that they are? It's so dumb. They had a perfect system of like stone, rock, slab, chunk, whatever. It makes so much sense to differentiate it. And then they were like, you know what would be great if we just made them all smithing stone but with a number? It makes it unnecessarily confusing. Don't you think? Crabs. Everywhere you go. And somber smithing stone, number four. It's like, just why? It's just a little bit silly to me. It was a it was a perfect system and they changed it for no reason. That was a ladder that just takes us to a somber smithing stone. That is curious. And then I guess we're jumping onto this roof now. So after you beat Renala, you get rewarded to parkour. You're like, haha, you thought Rey Lucario was over? Hell no. Now it's just begun. Now it's the parkour segment. <laughs> Where you fight a bunch of these things. Uh, we can drop down there. Ah. Ah, uh, there is a, a window. Multiple windows. Oh shit. Bit of rooftop walking? Okay, okay. I see ya. I see ya. Fuck these things, man. Okay. Just a standard attack, please. Oh, fuck off. What the fuck are these things, dude? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, you, you go up, do you? I can't jump over your attack because you go upwards, do you? Okay, bud. Leave me alone. Marionette Soldier Bird Helm. New heart just dropped. Metal helm formed in the likeness of the, likeness of the face of a bird. Worn by Avionette Soldiers, crafted to serve the sorcerers. The construction of this helm is remarkably crude. For a doll, the only thing that matters is that it does not break. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> Look at my duck beak. Nice. Get that. Sh get that shit off. Get that shit off of me. Cursed. Cursed item. Ye old magic grease. Okay. Well, I uh, found one of my new least favorite enemies, and it's those things. Okay. So after you do this rooftop, then we drop down here. Are you fucking? Oh. I thought it was, um. I was like, holy fuck, it's gonna be a. Oh, yeah! Nice. I thought it was gonna be, uh, one of those crystal lizards. <laughs> uh, little, the little boys from Dark Souls. They mean they kind of are. They give you a cool item. One of the glinstone crowns bestowed upon Rhea Lucaria scholars whose pursuits were deemed worthy greatly increases intelligence. Ooh, it gives me a six! Six increase to intelligence uh, to the detriment of HP and stamina. You lose like a hundred health almost and nine stamina. Scholars of the Twin Sage Conspectus were the elites of the academy, permitted to study and excel in sorceries of all kinds. The Twin Sage. Cool. We can actually bump ourselves up to 15 intelligence. That's nice. We become smarter by wearing a giant rock. Giant stone crown. I got a hat. 
I got one of your cool hats, guys, and I didn't have to murder you for it. Now just give me your pants. Please. Oh, shattering crystal. Okay. Shattering crystal, dude. Let's have a look. Create a massive crystal, then shatters it in a forward burst. Charging enhances, enhances potency. The Crystallians are ig or inorganic being, yet they live. They cleave close to the ideals of the primeval current, and as such, they are revered guests of the sorcerers. Sorceries of the mysterious Crystallians. Okay. Beings of the crystal. Are we dropping... Ah, uh, ladder. <laughs> are we dropping? Ladder. Ah, uh, it's a shortcut ladder. Oh, this is the entrance. That's that's the entrance. We've just gone full circle. So we just walked all the way out of the... Okay. So... Ah, oh, no, there's more. Ooh. There's more. Who the fuck are you? I've we've faced off against these guys before. I've read like a thing about them. Whoa! Okay. That was almost all of my health. Okay. 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 Chill. 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 Whoa! Three of them. Okay. Please stop. Oh, I'm all out. I'm all out of fucking juice. Okay. Oh fuck. <laughs> Perfumer's bolt. Shit. Okay. Something's coming for me. I hear footsteps. Okay, I think it's down below. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. What did I just get? Bolts. Fucking God. Okay. Um, bolt created with perfumer techniques and used by nobles, guards, and the like. The point of impact explodes with sparks, dealing fire damage. Yep, I felt that one. Well, we have no health, so that's good. Hang on, do I have something that can increase health real quick? Boost physical damage negation. Restores HP, but <laughs> causes poison buildup. I mean, I can do that, because I, I can just cure my poison. And then this boosts immunity. How do I? What's the thing that this is the thing that I eat? Nice. I should have eaten both of those to go to full health. Oh, is this an enemy? No. Wow. Azul's glintstone star. Wow. Okay, so we, it wasn't just to go back to the <laughs> to the entrance. We also got cool staff. Let's have a look at it. Staff of the primeval glintstone sorcerer Azure. Only those who have glimpsed what lies beyond the wisdom of stone may wield it. Reduces casting time of all sorceries, but consumes additional FP. You need 52 intelligence to wield it. 52. Holy crap. Okay. So we're now back at the entrance of Rey Lucaria. So we went through all of that mess. We went through all of that mess. I think that's... Okay. I really was thinking that there's so much more to the Academy. What the fuck? I guess it's just all there for show. I really thought that we were going up that tower. I was like almost convinced we were going up that huge tower to face like Renala or like final boss of the place. And then when we killed Renala so early, I'm like, well, maybe final boss of the place is someone else. But we were rewarded with a staff. Yeah. Okay. So as we leave, back out the entrance, and we head back to this, uh, 
you on this lift. I'm, we're not fast traveling intentionally because I'm just trying to see if anything happens or if anything changes. Like, look at all of this over here. Schoolhouse classroom, debate parlor, church of the cuckoo, grand library. Yeah, because the grand library is where Ranala was held, but. And I think this is the really tall cathedral part. Look at. What's this? Can we get here? I don't know. Ooh, can we just use... and I... Okay. Interesting. And then we can pass through this, which I assume would then, would then take us to this spot that we got to, the East Rea Lucaria Gate. You just walk right through it and it'll take us without even saying are you sure you want to do this it just pushes you through it and then there was a finger maiden here that we spoke to that the bellum highway yeah so we've been here and then when i noticed that i was like oh i feel like we're definitely supposed to be at ray lucaria first we left now let's speak to this finger maiden now that we've defeated ranala you your hands what Without e okay, she says the okay, same stuff. <laughs> okay, she's saying the same stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go to the round table hold now. I feel like maybe we've missed maybe like a pathway or a door or something uh, in Ray Lucaria because it feels like that there is a whole ass thing missing. Like that we can do that area. Maybe we already went through that area, and, and it just doesn't look like it because there's no grace point. Maybe we did go, I don't know. A uh, little bit confused. Ray Lucar is smaller than I thought, and I feel like it might be my fault, so I, I think we might need to check it out a bit more. Um, but that will have to wait. We're going to talk to our friends about the great rune that we've got in our possession, and anything else. Ah, well then. There's something I should mention to you as well. I'm thinking of leaving the round table hold. Do you know of the noble gold mask? Though he was but a tarnished, living outside the lands between, he was a great scholar who foresaw the coming guidance of grace. Gold mask. And now, I hear he has come to the lands between alone to contemplate the golden order. I wish nothing more than to seek his instruction. And perhaps even help him in his research. Uh, okay, so Gold Mask was in relation to Brother Corrin. All right, who's Gold Mask? I don't think I've. I don't. I don't we don't know a Gold Mask, do we? Um, Corrin. Okay, let me just write that down. Gold Mask. Not familiar with that one. Sorry. He's contemplating leaving. What is it? The map indicates it will lead you to... Yes, yeah, still haven't done that yet. Sorry, mate. Busy doing 5,000 other things, if that's alright with you. My man. Well, I see you found another great room. Wonderful. You are a worthy fellow tarnished indeed. Make the journey to the capital, Landell, that lies to the east of the Altus Plateau, at the foot of the Erd Tree. The two fingers will deny your passage no longer. You may be our best hope. Find your way to the Elden Ring, for we are tarnished. And we must answer the call of grace. Landell's next? I thought Landell was going to be last, because it was like, it's the capital. Okay, so we're going to Landell next. Now I want to get this information about Ranala again. The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Lingrave's north, towering over the mist-laden lands of Lyernia. Ranala is queen of the Carian royals, and her great rune dwells within the Egg. Who the fuck told us about Rani, dude? Who the hell told us about that? <laughs> I'm so annoyed now that I can't remember who told us, so I can't go back and get that information. If you guys can remember or if you know because at some point in this playthrough someone has mentioned Rani's name 
um, as the Lunar Princess, and it's driving me mad now. Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a cave to the west of the Laskia ruins. She knows the location. I found her. So, God despite being the blood of Godfrey, first Elden, his castle lies, I suspect you know. Okay, so Godric and Renal are done. We've got Radan, who studied gravity magic as a young as a young scholar. He studied gravity magic, we know from what we've an item that we've picked up. We've got Rikard and Morgoth. More R's, more M's, baby. General Radan, the famed Red Lion and Scourge of the Stars, he fought Melania and her rot to a stand. Melania, another <laughs> another M. Caled Wilds. I reckon in Radan remains there, though. I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. So Radan's chilling out, and he battled. Uh, okay, he battled Melania and her rot. So Caled's her fault. She's the rotting one. Praetor Rikard is the lord of the Volcano Manor on... Ah, uh, okay, that's the Volcano Manor. ...just this year, who commands a company of inquisitors. The volcano, Mount Gelmir, lies in the west of the Altus Plateau. It was the stage of the most appalling battle. Rikard has committed the graves. Okay, so Rikard's at the Volcano Manor, so... Um, just finding my notes for that place... Uh, abandoned house, Raya, Lady Tanith of Volcano Manor on the Ultras Plateau, fight amongst a family of champions. And that's where Praetor Rikard is. Morgoth the Grace given his Lord of Landell, the capital. Ah, so this is our next target. Foot of the Erd Tree, in the east of the Ultras Plateau. But the two fingers forbid us from venturing there, until we've acquired enough great runes to repair the Elden Ring. So two great runes is enough to repair the Elden Ring, apparently, and you can, and Morgoth is our next target. And then eventually we'll figure out how to get to Rikard, and then we've also got Radan, which I believe is, Radan must be in Kaled. Over here. Oh boy, and then, uh, this is Landell. And then Volcano, Volcano, Volcano Manor to the east of the Altus Plateau. So, okay. Interesting. Piecing it together, piece by piece. I've got a ball bearing for you. Smithing Miner's Bell Bearing. Bell Bearing Shop. Wait. Oh. Oh, it just does it just get? Oh, it just gets added to. That's confusing. All right, it just gets added to this place. I don't get it. Why would it not be a separate one, like bell bearing shop with another number? I'm confused. Okay, whatever. Um, maybe because it only unlocks online related stuff. But there's our smithing stones that we can now buy, which is cool. We've got 33 of those. They only cost. They cost 800. Okay. Takes on the appearance of a host. Takes on the appearance of a cooperator. Blue cipher ring. All right, nothing that we really want, but we can buy more rune arcs if we want. Okay. Um, it's really interesting when you are trying to play the game through um, taking in the, the story, the world, and the lore at the same time as all of, like, the gameplay and locations and stuff, following along with everything is, like, it's quite a intensely focused experience, you know? Like, where we're just like, we're gonna keep doing this, we're gonna keep doing this, check all this shit out. Like, we've got more stuff to the east that Alexander was talking about, Journey to the East, to go to Redmain Castle. We've got a new, I remember, we've got a new power that we unlocked at the Dragon Communion Church as well. Because we killed that glintstone dragon. Fuck. Taking notes is essential, man. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to forget everything. Oh, hello. <laughs> I was hoping to see you. My examination is complete. Here's the knife print back. With my thanks. Nice. Black knife print. Now I have a fairly good idea who performed the rite upon the blade. The person who orchestrated the Knight of the Black Knives. Lunar Princess Ronnie. 
one of the children born to King Consort Radigan and his first wife, Ronala, demigod and sister to General Radan and Praetor Rikard. They're all related! The Look at them all! What the Truman. fuck? You have my thanks. But if I might be so bold, I would like to ask something more of you. If Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of destined death somewhere upon her flesh. I would like you to procure it for me. And then all will be laid bare. I will have the answers I have sought for so long. Everyone's fucking married or related. Rani orchestrated the... Uh, the black knife. Alright. Daughter of Renala. Sister of Radan and Rikard. Which means Radan and Rikard are brothers. Rani's whereabouts. I have some idea of Rani's potential whereabouts. There's a manor to the north of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. It is the familial home of the Karian royals from whom Rani descends. There's been talk of the old royals' vassals gathering there in recent years. Rani's whereabouts since the shattering are a well-kept secret. She hasn't been seen even once. But I suspect she might have returned to the manor in which she was born. Fuck me, dude. This is insane. <laughs> okay, so Rani orchestrated the Black Knife thing, killing a god for the first time. Killing the first Elden Lord, uh, Godfrey. So, Radagon, oh, I guess Radagon and Radan, like naming makes sense. So, Radagon, I guess they could be half sisters as well, because Radagon got married to Queen Marika. Because, yeah, because we got the, like, this is like one of those moments where we've, like, gone so far into the game that it would actually be so useful to us to watch the opening cutscene again, where it talks, because I'm pretty sure it talks about all this stuff with, like, Queen Mar yeah, Queen Marika's offspring and all of that. It's like there's so much information in here <laughs> right now. I feel like I'm gonna burst. If Luna Princess Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of destined death somewhere upon her flesh. Curse mark of destined death. She may have returned to the manor that is her home, the Royal Karian residence to the north of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Fuck me, dude. Curse mark of distant death. Why do you want a curse mark? I'm afraid there's something I must tell you. Do you know of those who live in death? The very notion of life in death defies the Golden Order. By Dee's account, these defiled fiends must be expunged. But truth be told, I seek the curse mark to save them. You may find this peculiar, but I discovered something in my examination of the Knight of the Black Knives. These souls have committed no offense. They have every right to life, only they happen to touch upon a flaw in the Order. A flaw in the Order? Yes, indeed. If D knew what drives me now, he would surely boil over with rage. Or perhaps he would even feel some pity. But no need to fret. None of that will come to pass. I can tell a good lie when I need to. <laughs> Him just hearing the echoes and he's like right behind us. What the hell? <laughs> and another page gets filled <laughs> with just, oh my god, story. AD, did you hear any of that? What is it? The map indicates. What is it? Still milling about. Hmm. Hmm. Are Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? No love. Well, I took you no matter to lay out your arms then. Every time we leave, <laughs> every time we leave the round table, Hugh's just like, oh, must be dead then. I think he's dead again. Man's dead. <laughs> oh, we didn't even get to test out the, I just realized there was only one of those enemies in Rhea Lucaria. We never tested out the hammer ever again to find out if it would do more damage against the thing. That's funny. Hang on, does did it 
Does it respawn? I don't think it respawns. I just realized that. Didn't even... I just didn't even acknowledge it. There you go. I don't even think it respawned. Well, let me get that off of me. Take down my equip load, please. Interesting. I wonder if fia has got anything new to say now that we've dealt more with Rogier. I am pleased. Would you like the blessing? Would you like now? Yes. Now let's see if it just skips again and just kick us out of the hug. You are so. Then good day to you. Automatically kicks us out. Can't imagine it's comfy hugging a bunch of armor, but that's, you know, you do you. I'm generally surprised that there's a mirror here that allows us to redo our appearance. And then there's Renala who allows us to do our appearance and our stats. They really are just like, here, you can remake your character in two different places if you want. Uh, let's speak, now that we've got a great rune, we'll speak to the two fingers and we'll see what update they've got for us. I had my doubts, but my look at you. Only once before have I seen two great runes together. Look there. The fingers shudder with exuberance. Fine work, brave tarnished. The greater will is pleased. You have earned the right to become Elden Lord. Now, seek the Erd Tree and an audience with Queen Marika to become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. The fingers expect as much from you as they do, young Gideon. Ooh. Take this. A token of farewell. Another talisman pouch. Nice. Okay, so we, we're going to go get an audience with Queen Marika herself. And also Gideon is also in the running here. Because we something that we need to remember is we are one of many tarnished that have returned to the lands between to become Elden Lord. We're just one. Other people are trying to get that right too. Which I think is a problem because the more I think about that is we are the only one in possession of great runes, which makes us, which could potentially make us a target. Because the only way to become Elden Lord and is to reforge this Elden Ring uh, with great runes and if other Tarnished want to do that, they're going to think that the easiest way to get there is through us. From a story point, that seems to make sense. Now, go forth. Become Elden Lord. Because something we need to remember is all of these characters, like most of these characters that are in this world right now, were all in that opening cutscene as well. Let's, let's re-watch. At the end of this video... Let's rewatch the opening cutscene, okay? Let's rewatch. Um, we're going to save the game, return to the main menu. Um, it says, and I will state, while it says 39 hours, we're approximately, probably at more like 35 right now. I spend a lot of time sitting in the menu. <laughs> in between episodes, I spend a lot of time sitting um, in between menus. So I haven't actually played, I've played for like more like 34 to 35 hours, I think accurately. I've like tried to add together all of my episode length and get there. Let's, let's take this cutscene in again. Let's take this cutscene in again. Build the, va build the vagina bond. Let's go. Build of the Vagabond. Let's see. We need to take in this opening cutscene again now that we're at, at, at this point of the story. I need to get this once more. So we can really, like... The Fallen Leaves. Tell a story. I'm just going to up the volume, the cutscenes are a bit quiet. The great Elden Ring was shattered. In our home, a 
across the fog, the lands between. Queen Marika? No. Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. She's in Lane Dale, bud. And in the night of the Black Knives, uh, was first to perish. There it is. It was right in the fucking cutscene. Right. Yeah. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards. Marika's offspring, but then it also that shows Renna. Of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. Mm. Look at that artwork, man. That is literally that belongs in a museum. That's an art gallery piece if you've ever seen one. From which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment. By the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. And then he starts listing tarnished, right? Or alone, chieftain of the Badlands. Father of Nefeli. The ever brilliant God. That's where we've heard God Mask before, okay. Fear, the deathbed companion. <laughs> the loathsome dungy. Yes, the loathsome dungy to himself. Where the fuck is that guy? And Sir Gideon Othnir. The all knowing. Okay, so we've met Gideon and Fear, but we've also got Nefeli's father, Horalu, and then we've got Dung Eater. Okay, so that was the opening cutscene. Okay. And one other. And one other whom Grace would again bless. Grace would again bless. Us. A tarnished of no renown. A tarnished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between. Cross the fog to the lands between. And then the game starts. And we're introduced to that first boss that kicks our butt. Okay, so that was... That was super interesting. So it shows... It shows Renna. When it talks about Marika's offspring, Rena and Rani are way too similar names. They're way too similar names, dude. The naming is so, so alike. And yeah, so, and it goes into all of the offspring and it starts showing all of those people who fought in the War of the Shattering. And then it starts naming fellow Tarnished, of whom we've met some. Does it jump down from the sky? Where does it come from? It does, just comes down from the sky. God, I'm fat rolling. Oh, I'm deep. My. The default is fat rolling. Oof. I picked a terrible character for this. Oh, the fat rolling dude. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was just like, can we kill it? I didn't realize my equip load was so high. I didn't even look at this character. I just went in for it. Okay. Um, get me get me out of this. That's fine. Um, I don't even want to save. <laughs> I don't even want to save, Bill. Save the game, return to the title menu. All right, Bill. You're in. <laughs> 
Bill's now the, the next Elden Lord. Bill the Vagabond. Okay, we don't want that. Could you imagine if you could only have one character and I accidentally overwrit my proper character? <laughs> I would be so sad. Okay, so Bill is no more, but Bill has granted us the ability to see that opening cutscene again. And it's very interesting to see that cutscene with new eyes. And I, eyes that have experienced the game, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit different, but we've got some really, really cool stuff uh, to do. Uh, but we're going to bring this episode to a close. We need to head, that would be our manor north of Rhea Lucaria, to deal with uh, the Lunar Princess Rani slash Renna, who should have the, uh, the curse mark of Destined Death. The curse mark might be that additional face, maybe, like a spirit. I mean, there's got, like, maybe, like, one part of her already in the afterlife or something like that. I don't I don't know. Uh, we've also got this, which looks to go to, I believe, what that would be to the Grand Lift that we need the other half of the medallion for, I believe, which is what this finger maiden was saying, fuck you, you don't have the other medallion, come back later, which then should put us into Lane Dell, because we've we got warped to the Divine Bridge ages ago we just have to wait and see we just have to wait and see we need to get into this tower somehow as well because uh, that I assume that's our divine tower of Leonia which we need to use to repair the great rune a whole bunch of stuff we need to get up on the cliff edge of this thing so I think we need to go up here go up here and maybe get up here somehow do that as well whole bunch to do and I'm looking forward to all of it so thank you so much for watching this episode of Elden Ring, Ray Lucari Academy is so, so beautiful. Uh, we're going to continue exploring, see what else we can find next time. I'll see you then.